Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to look at how do you draw a currency appreciation. Now, because I'm based in Australia, we're going to focus on the Australian dollar, but wherever you are in the world, if you're watching this video, the principle is still the same. You could just substitute the Australian dollar and put in your local currency. That the principle of how things move and the impact is going to be the same according to economic theory. So get out your drawing equipment, your pencils, your rulers, your fancy equipment, and let's get started on drawing a currency appreciation. We are talking about drawing an appreciation of the Australian dollar. Now, if you remember um, sort of basic, more basic economics, that what's going to lead to an increase in price are two things, an increase in demand or a decrease in supply. Notice I haven't said contraction or expansion. So what we're going to do is, in terms of thinking about price as the value of the Australian dollar, is we're going to draw an increase in demand for the Aussie dollar and a decrease in supply, both of which will lead to a currency appreciation. So let's start with the increase in demand. <laughs> So we'll just pause here that on our price axis, we're looking at the value of the Australian dollar in terms of another currency. That's just the definition of exchange rates. So in this case, we're looking at for one Australian dollar, how much do you get in terms of US dollars? Do you get a dollar fifty? Wouldn't that be nice? Or do you get 77 cents? How does it work? And then here, yep, we're still looking at quantity, but we're looking at the quantity of Australian dollars, okay? Not the quantity of computers or shoes or mugs or whatever else is sitting in this room here. We are looking at Australian dollars because we are drawing an appreciation of the Australian dollar. All right, let's keep drawing. Okay, so here we are at our equilibrium point for the Australian dollar. So you can see here that point A. Point A is the market equilibrium for the Australian dollar. So you can see point A translates to a price or Australian dollar value of there and a quantity of there. So what we're going to say is we're going to say, okay, there is going to be an increase in demand for the Australian dollar. So we're going to be focusing on the movement in this curve here. Okay, so what we've seen here is that we've got a movement from D to D1. Now that that is our appreciation. And you might say, Mr. Simons, how do you know that's an appreciation? And I say, no problems. Look at what happens to the value of the Australian dollar. It was at PE. Now it's at P1 because of that shift in the demand curve. So from D to D1, that's an appreciation of the Australian dollar. So what we can also see is there an increase in the quantity of Australian dollars out there in the marketplace. And you might say, why? Why is it the case that that QE goes to Q1? Why is there a greater quantity of Australian dollars? And what we'll do is we'll go to our red pen. And can you see here that if we focus on the supply curve and we look at the movement from A to B, that what we've got here is an expansion in supply and essentially what's happening is that as the Australian dollar goes up, people start to think, oh, I could make some money or I could go and buy some more foreign currency. So they start to sell it, which will then lead to a greater quantity of Australian dollars in the marketplace. So what we can say here is that 
Why is it the case that the quantity increases? Okay. So what we're saying is there is an expansion of supply as the value of the Australian dollar goes up and that will lead to that movement from A to B. And if you think about well, why is that occurring is that as the price of the Australian dollar goes up is that people will wish to sell. Now in terms of these values here, if you are doing this kind of graph in an exam in an essay, what you might want to do is you might want to give kind of specific values. And so we might change this to green. And so rather than it's saying PE, what you might say is actually it starts at uh, 80 US cents. And then this value here is, okay, well, let's say that that's 90. So you're just kind of distinguishing between a basic market equilibrium graph. And what you're saying here is that actually it goes from US 80 cents to US 90 cents. And you can just make up those values if you are demonstrating an example, that's not a drama. Okay, so that is our increase in demand and how that leads to a currency appreciation. Let's now look at the other perspective, which is a decrease in supply. Okay, so remember we're still talking about a currency appreciation, the currency going up in value. And that here what we're talking about is uh, a decrease in supply, still helping us to illustrate that appreciation of the Aussie dollar. All right, let's get drawing. Okay, so just as we had uh, the equilibrium value of the Australian dollar in the other graph, again, point A represents the same. And in this graph, the equilibrium occurs when the uh, value of the Australian dollar is equivalent to US 80 cents. So one Australian dollar will get you 80 US cents and that equates to this quantity. Okay, so again, we're trying to demonstrate an appreciation of the Australian dollar. So in this movement from A to B, this decrease in supply, what we can see is that the price goes up. So we have our currency appreciation. So again, when we move from S to S1, A to B, the price, the value of the Australian dollar is going to go up. But what we can also see is that when there is a decrease in supply, that there is actually a reduction in the quantity of the Australian dollar. So what we can do is after we focused on that shift in the supply curve is we can then focus on the demand curve. And what you can see is that as the value of the Australian dollar goes up, that demand for the Australian dollar is going to contract because the Australian dollar is more expensive, less exciting to buy it. So let's just go through this. So what we're saying is that S moves to S1, which is a decrease in supply. And that that we can see on the graph as the starting point of A moving to B. And then A to B also represents that contraction in demand. So focusing on the demand curve, we've got this arrow, we're going from A to B. And the contraction in demand for the Australian dollar occurs as the Australian dollar becomes more expensive. So the quantity will reduce because there is less demand for the Australian dollar as it's more expensive in foreign currency terms. So I'm going to need more US dollars to buy the same amount of Australian dollars. So I might want less. Okay, so we've looked at an, uh, what did we even look at? We looked at an appreciation of the Australian dollar, which is caused by an increase in demand or a decrease in supply. 
our next video will look at a depreciation of the Australian dollar. So that will be worthwhile. Very important to know how to draw those things. Okay, thank you very much for watching.